Yo, what's up team? I got a game speed workout for you guys today that's gonna involve the ladder and it's gonna involve curve linear sprints. Now you know I love the ladder to get prep primed and ready to go because we use the ladder as a specific tool to work on neuromuscular coordination, synchronization, fluid hip development, foot strike position, balance stability, and full body control. And because we love to go single leg, that unilateral work, we're working on building the foot strength, the ankle, all the way up the kinetic chain to that hip, working in conjunction with the core and the entire body. So the first drill we're gonna go through today is gonna be block number one. It is our ankle and foot rapid fire development. So we get into our curved linear sprints so you can move and groove like an athlete that's gonna translate straight to your specific sport. Let me take off this jacket and let's get into it. All right, so I've laid my ladder out and you're only gonna need the middle two ladders rings to start. Now, we got four drills. Each drill you're gonna complete for one to two sets and I'm gonna tell you the rep scheme for each of them. The first one is called the four box drill. It's on a single leg. You're gonna go clockwise and counterclockwise or right to left. So I'm gonna start off with my left leg. I'm gonna go forward, side, back, and then where I began. I'm gonna do that quickly five times one way once you get to back to the beginning, five times without stopping the other way. It's gonna work on balance, stability, full body control, and stay on the forefoot. Make sure you get in coordination when you five on one side, and you're gonna feel your whole foot, calf, and hip light up. Great for glute stimulation, great for overall body control. Then you're gonna make sure you do both legs. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna jump right into drill number two. Now your foot and glute are gonna be lit up. And that's why I love these drills, because it gets you prep prime ready to go. So drill number two is called the X drill. So you're gonna start on one side, and then on an angle, you're gonna come forward, and then side, and then backwards on an angle. And you're gonna repeat that five times. Once you've done that, we just switch to the other side. And then I would switch and go to the other angle. I hit them both. Again, neuromuscular coordination, synchronization, balance, stability, and full body fluidity at the highest level. Let's get it. The heart rate is up. We're gonna jump right into drill number three. These are my short to long, medial to lateral jumps. And these are my all time favorite because we're gonna build great stability and strength through the foot on both the inside and the outside of the foot. So you can really feel the pressure as we push down away, attack the position and jump with balance and stability and then get right back off quick, fast and dynamic. So I'm gonna do the first two rings in and out. Once I finish the first two, I'm gonna to go to the second one across and then back to the second one across the other one. So we're here, boom. One, two, push. One, two, push. One, two, push. I'll do three going starting the one side and then I'll do three on the other side in the same foot so I can get the outside push to the opposite direction. So looks like this again. One, two, push, push. One, two, push, push. One, two, push. Push, push, and that right there, you can really feel your foot. Grip the ground, strike it with good positioning, where I have to really lean into that angle. Drive, push, attack, jump, and then re-accelerate out of that position quickly back to the middle and do it all over again. Great drill, really builds those angles so you can get in and out of your break, especially when we do that curve linear work today, where you gotta have great posture and trunk control when you sprint. Let's go. We're gonna go to drill number four now and I feel super charged. The legs feel incredible. We're gonna be finishing here with our outside, inside, outside zigzag jump. I love these because these are quick, just like the first one, but now we've built that outside medial lateral positioning so now we can attack, get to the next one and get in and out of these breaks super quick. So I start on the outside of the ladder. I go in, 
out, and then I jump across to the outside, in, out, jump across. So I'm gonna push, building that rhythm, that timing, good positioning, building strong athletic feet. Everything starts with precision, efficiency. If you wanna be a game changer, like you find show-stopping athlete at the highest level, let's get it. All right, so we're gonna be going to block at number two, and this is where you take it to another level and separate yourself from the competition with sports-specific movements that will translate to the game. This is called our game speed, multi-directional curve linear sprints. Now, we're gonna be completing two sets of every single speed skill, which is gonna be a shuffle, a crossover sprint, and a back pedal. And I want you to really think about being in control and focusing on the details of the movements that I show you here in a second. Now, I love curved linear sprints because we know in the game, we're never running at top speed or getting to top speed or running in a straight line for a very long time. You're gonna have to have great core control, you're gonna have to have great spatial awareness, and the body has to be in sync with great foot strike positioning as you move and groove through your turns, your weaves, and your change direction movements. That's why I love the curved linear work. Now, everybody just runs curved linear sprints. I love to do it at a multi-directional skills because that's how you do it in the game. So the first one, we're gonna start on the far left of this hourglass U drill that I have. And we're gonna shuffle. When I get to the cone, I'm gonna bend my knees, drop my hips, come to balance but accelerate as I dip, turn my shoulders, and get into that curve, and I sprint in and around. This is how it looks. So I'm here, I'm gonna push off my left leg as I shuffle, turn, and go. Boom. Now the goal is accelerate on the bend. I have to stay low and be very aggressive, dip that shoulder, chase my shoulders out, and get to where I need to go with a sense of urgency like you would in the game. So as you can see, it involves a lot of great spatial awareness, body control, core control, foot strike positioning, and just overall elite level skills that will translate directly to your sport. Let's get it. So after you complete drill number one for two sets, each, we're gonna to go to drill number two, which is our crossover sprint. And this one gets butchered, and more often than not, you don't do it with efficiency and great control. So this is what I want. You're gonna look straight ahead, but run towards the direction that you wanna to go to. So I can see what's in front of me. So I'm gonna see what's here, sprint here. And then I'll break down, drop my hips, bend my knees, Plant off that left leg, that right leg. Lean with my left, turn, run, dip my shoulders, chase them out, lean, and get out. That's gonna create a natural crossover of my hips as I get great body disassociation, because I can see this way, see over here, so I get that nice torque, I get that nice fluidity of the hips. So I'm here, boom, cross, break down, go. Ooh. As you can see, I really whipped and accelerated off the bend, driving and attacking as I got to the middle, turned my shoulders, dropped my hips, and I was gone. We're gonna do the other side now. Again, I'm gonna run this way, look this way. I can see everything here. It gets a nice association of the upper body, lower body. Break down, go, go. One of my favorite drills, this right here, I guarantee will take you to a whole nother level in your sport. Let's get it. All right, so our third and final drill is the back pedal. Now the back pedal, I want you to slow down. Work on developing great posture and alignment and great mechanics so you can accelerate from there. What does that mean? Bend the knees, drop the hips. You're on the mid foot or balls of the feet. Heels are off the ground, chest slightly over the knees and toes. That means now you're in a good acceleration position to burst, drive, and attack and get out of that position. Now, the reason why I want you to do it slow is because the back pedal in sports is an opportunity for you to survey your surroundings, gather information 
so you can make a really good split second decision with your eyes up to see what's around you so you can burst out of any different position that you need to. So I'm gonna go slow, controlled. I'm not gonna look for the red marker, then I'm gonna burst around again. Here it is. Slow, control, see it, burst, burst. Hey, so this one, I wanna feel it. I wanna trust it. As long as you get out with a sense of urgency, attack, chase your shoulders, and get out. Those drills right there, I guarantee it. The shuffle, the crossover run, the back pedal, all out of those curve linear positions is gonna help you when it comes to engaging that core, finding that balance, stability, great body control, foot strike position. You're gonna be even greater in your sport, I guarantee it. Athletic dominance, baby, let's go. All right, I feel like an absolute machine right now, and so should you from this game change, electrifying, show-stopping workout at the highest level. Now, block number three, we're gonna open up a little bit. So we've done some of our tight quarter multi-directional work with the last one, which was our game speed curve linear U drill. Now, I wanna open it up. We have five sprints, 40 yards of our tight swivel linear sprints. Now, what does that mean? Every five yards, I got marked out with cones. I'm gonna run right on this line. I'm gonna stay as tight as I can. This is gonna help us get to a top speed, but just slightly change direction, which we have to now work on posture, good alignment of the upper body, foot strike position, all while keeping a good strong hip and core utilization. Here we go. Just gotta stay tight, good posture, good alignment. So that would be one sprint, 40 yards, I'd walk back for recovery. Now you got five of these. Now what you also wanna realize is you wanna attack the first 10 yards and really get up to speed. And as you start to rise up, that's where you really maintain great posture and alignment, good angles. As my foot strikes, I wanna slightly lean across the line to get around the cone. And that's where you really have to maintain your fundamentals. And if you guys like this incredible workout, which had three amazing blocks. Block number one to really prep prime your body for success with our foot, ankle, and hip series with that full footwork drill. Block number two, which really worked on that real game speed, multi-directional work in the curve linear to work on posture, good foot strike positioning, core engagement. And then this last one where we have a nice long sprint, open up the hip flexors, open up the hamstrings, get in better posture. This is a workout that you can do, get on the field. You don't need much, you need some cones. If you don't got cones, use shoes. Do what you can to separate yourself right now from the competition. I'm gonna finish these up. If you guys like this workout, let me know in the comment section below. And if you wanna train with me, grab our 30 day free athletic dominance training program. Doesn't matter your skill, your age, the equipment that you have. We help customize that program specifically to you. Doesn't matter if you're in season, off season, or if you're like me, 34 years old, dad of three, that wants to continue to train like an athlete. I was a pro once, and I want to continue to develop those skills, nurture them, and be the best I can be at all times, then jump on that program. Until next time, I'm Coach Shea Pierre. Until then, let's blast off, and let's go.